avvicinare Board project guy I got my black gloves on today. Yes, today is a new day. Last time you guys seen me, I was pulling pencils out of a <clears throat> old block that I had sitting in the one man shop. Got my boy deal with me. You'll see him. Shit. Well, check this out. So, I've been thinking lately, I've been wanting to see the E34 had an M20, same block, they're all identical. Only few variances is the motor mount locations are different and the oil dipstick tube in the E34 is in the oil pan. In the E30, it's in the block. So, what I found out today was, excuse the sun, I'm sorry. What I found out today is that I may be able to use the E34 block in the E30. Hell yeah, cuz. So, I'm going to get back at you, boys. What I realize is, this here is the arm for the E34. The aluminum. Now, if you notice, let me get my camera right. This hole here, this hole there, there and there, is for this mount, which lines up perfect. Now... This one here, here, and here, and here is for the E30, which lines up perfect. Kind of hard because I'm trying to look through the cam the phone and the sun so bright. So what I was thinking was these threads here are already, I'm sorry, <laughs> these threads here, these four here are already threaded chase clean and everything now to make the e30 mount work on this block i would need these four so uh oh let me get my 13 i was over here working some magic earlier give me a second let me get this bust this loop bam, 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 bam. so i took the short is it gonna focus hmm. oh, i guess not so I took the E30 short short bolt for the motor mounts because the motor mounts don't need the bolts don't need to be that long. And the E34 come with these same pitch th uh, thread thread pitch. I'm sorry, but significantly longer, which you can see. Some went down a bit. So what I was thinking was they have they have threads in them. So like this one here. It's got threads in it, but it looks like it's just been painted over, and I don't know. But, so I was like, you know what, why don't I just take an old bolt, because I got plenty of these bolts, and just run it through, and chase some threads, like, just for the hell of it. And you won't believe what happened. Look at that. Check this out. like butter i mean it's a little tight so what i what i was doing was i sprayed some wd-40 in it to give it some lubrication like when you when you use a tap and die they tell you to go about two turns and come back once so i was just sitting up here doing like this and i rotate it again cut the threads come back give me a couple more rotations come back you know and lo and behold it works perfect Perfect, 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 perfect. So, when I get a lot more money, I'm going to use this block. Because this is the true eye block. I read the code. It's the, I forget the numbers exactly. I'll take a picture of it. But, I went and bought a 
ETA. That is the 2.7 liter with the 200 head. I have an 885 head, which I am going to put on that block. Dude told me it only had 160,000 miles. I have all the components to make that thing drop in and go. Flywheel, clutch, oil pan, like I got a bunch of stuff in here for it. So that's what's going to be my new plan. This block here is just an extra block. I really don't need it. I was mostly worried about all this surface rust. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, all that surface rust. And then if you look in the inside here, yeah, that looks pretty bad. So my biggest thing was I didn't want to, I was going to take this to the machine shop, spend the money, then spend more money, then spend more money. When I bought that one for like 200 bucks, thanks to my boy Austin. Shout out to Austin. I really appreciate that, buddy. That block has great compression. It was used recently. So... With this being in the condition that it was, and I didn't think that block was going to go into this car because of the mounting location, which I proved it wrong. I'm pretty sure somebody else did it out there, but hey, I'm doing it in the one-man shop, the getaway, but it works. I'm more function over fashion type of guy. But yeah, I'm going to take that 2.7, strip it down, regasket it. New head gasket, ARP studs. Um, yeah, everybody's gonna be like, yeah, you probably should do main bearings, raw bearings, rings. Man, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it on up through there. That's all I'm gonna do. Take it on up through there. So, but uh, yeah, man, I can't believe it. Today's a pretty good get, <laughs> pretty good day. So I'm gonna get back at you boys. Yo, your boy's back, back at it again with another one. So. We at the end of the day, got to go home, got to go pick up Minnie Me, my twin, from school. She's about to get out in a little bit, but got the M20 on the engine stand. So, hold on. Let me see if I can get that. Ooh. Let me wipe that off a little bit. See if that do any justice. Yeah. So, like I said. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, man, you got an ETA. Oh, that thing suck. It suck. It's garbage. It's garbage. But look, I want that to run this year. So in order for that to run this year, I got to put that together with that 885 head budget stroker. Yes, I understand the concept of a stroker. You got to have a 2.7 crank, ETA rods, and eye pistons. Or custom pistons, depending on what kind of stroke you're going. You're going the long stroke, or you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean for the for the M20 world, for the E30 guys. But like I said though, man, you know, don't forget, at the end of the day, your project always keep getting better. My thing is I just need to quit buying motors. I like it. I like tearing them down. Which you can see I got a bunch of bull. So but like I say, man, the project always keep getting better. Don't forget that. Don't quit. And remember, like I said, project keep getting better, man. Always, 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 always. Man, look, I'm going to holler at y'all, boys. Y'all have a good one, all right?